Here we have a 2004 Mini Cooper in chili red with a contrasting black roof and mirror caps and also bonnet strips. Starting with the off side front tyre. Tread depth looking at about 2, 2.5mm two in this centre there, so not a great deal of tread. Also a bit of wearing there on the outer edge. Looking at the offside side front alloy, you get the nice Cooper alloys on this car. Lovely condition with no curbing or any scuff marks at all. Looking down the near side, uh, the offside of the body, no sign of any dinks or any dents at all. Looks very clean there. Looking around the paintwork, a couple of scratches there on the driver's mirror are going to require maybe a little bit of a mop and polish. Driver's uh, side itself, again, some light scratches will require a bit of polish. Again, they're very light, so you shouldn't really have an issue. A couple of very minor little nicks in the door edge there, but apart from that, looks very clean for its age. On the roof, just a couple of light scratches, nothing else to report there. Looking at the rear arch and rear quarter, again, just a couple of light scratches will require polish, but no sign of any damage. Looking at the rear tyre, you look at easily a good 5mm of tread there. Looking at the rear alloy, as you can see, you've got some heavy curbing on the alloy there. Looking around the rest of the alloy, a couple of minor little scuff marks, as you can see. So again, potential refurb required. Moving around to the rear end of the car. Looking at the rear bumper, there is a couple of scratches on the loading bay here. I'm definitely going to require a good mop and polish, as you can see, with the light there. And there's quite a few light scratches, so a good mop and polish needed there, but no sign of any damage. It's also had a new exhaust recently as well, which is on the service book, which I'll show you in a second. And as we can see, the boot, nice condition. Inside the boot, it's nice. It's got its parcel shelf as well. Obviously, no spare wheel with the Mini, though. I'm moving around to the near side rear tyre. Again, you've easily got a good 5mm tread. Rear alloy, again, as you can see, a couple of little chips at the top there. Looking around the rest of the alloy, a couple of scratches, but no sign of any serious curbing at all. And then looking at the near side of the vehicle, there is a small dent on the front passenger door, which you can see just there, so there is a small dent. And there's also a bit of paint starting to bubble, which I'll show you in a second. Apart from that, there's a couple of light scratches again, a couple of chipsy door edge, again, your usual age-related sort of marks. A couple of scratches on the door will require a bit of a polish. And as you can see towards the bottom of the door here, they've got quite a bit of paint bubbling starting to appear at the very bottom of the door. On at the mirror, as you can see it's got some deep scratches, probably going to require a little bit of paint work. Front arch is clean, and the front tyre we're looking at about 2mm again, so the front tyres are very low, a bit of wearing on the outer edge as well. Looking at the front alloy, again a couple of scratches, a bit of a scuff mark at the bottom there, but apart from that, it's looking well for its age. And on the bonnet, um, as you can see, the paint is starting to fade quite badly. Um, as you can see, it's all speckled all around the bonnet area, all around the headlights as well. You can see dripping down here as well. All on the bonnet. It's going to need a whole new respray by the looks of things. Um, a lot, a lot of fading all around to the paintwork on the bonnet, obviously, as well as stone chips as well. You can see it's starting to peel in certain places as well. You've got a bit of a crack in the front bumper there. That's just in the paintwork though. Apart from that, no signs of any serious damage. And again, a couple of stone chips on the front. Now I'll take a look at the interior. Inside you get the nice half leather Cooper seats. Quite a bit of wearing though on the bolster, as you can see. So quite a bit of wearing on the driver's seat there. Again, it's just age related really. Front passenger seat again, just a slight bit of wearing to the leather. In the back seats, you can see there's no sign of any damage. They're still looking very well for its age. And you've got the nice checkered mini mats in there as well. Stepping inside the vehicle, you get the nice multifunction steering wheel with cruise control as well, which is a nice feature. And we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, as you can see just there. So two keys with the car. And if we just look at the dash here whilst we start up the vehicle. As you can see, there's no issue at all starting the car. We're looking at 109,157 on the clock. No symbols appearing on the dash at all. And again, everything appears to be in good order. You've got your trip computer there, etc. Uh, the blowers, now there's no issue at all with the blowers. But as you can see, the air conditioning light is flashing on and off there, uh, it seems to have appeared to have stopped. It does need a regas anyway, it's not coming out that cold, um, so just be aware of that. Both the windows work, radio works fine. You've got your CD as well, manual transmission. Now taking a look at the documents. 
Looking at the V5 of the vehicle, the car's had four owners, so four owners on the car. It's got an MOT expiry date of August 27th, 2016, with no advisories on there either. And service history, it is only just partial service history. As you can see, there's quite a few Rybrook Shoesbury stamps, that is with us. 9, 22, 35, 45, 62. And then non-franchise 77, 83, it's had front pads. And then, like I said, at 94,000 miles, it's replaced the exhaust. Um, so that's the service history, guys. It wasn't that long ago done. There we go, guys. That's the 2004 Mini Cooper. Some nice features to the car, and it's not really in bad condition for its age.